This is one of the sections where it's quite hard work, but also you, you feel as though you can get a slight breather on this section, just before the really demanding section coming up. There's a small rise in the road here where the front end goes slightly light on the bike, and then it's a case of just gentle braking into Balakane, back to second gear here, steady. Then you come out of Balakrain and this is you're right into the woods now, you're into the, the hard bit. Fast left, right flick, front end goes a little lively over there, it takes a little bit hanging on. Come down towards Doran's Bend where he steady the bike up, back a gear, and then very, very fast from there. You come into a, quite a frightening section where the rocks tend to sort of jump out and face you off the, the bank in there, You've just a double apex, apex bend there. And then a fast drive into Laurel Bank proper, which is rather ripply, so you've got to let the revs, keep, keep the revs down and try and uh, let the, the torque pull you up through there. Up towards the ninth milestone, very, very fast left-right flick, where you're well over, your knee is scraping the road all the way around here. Then you come into the Glen Helen section, steady the bike up, back a couple of gears, fast left-right flick, back another gear, and then you start the, the climb to Sarah's cottage. You peel into Sarah's, you just have to watch and get gentle feeding in the power because of the camber of the road, the back end can step out there. Bike sort of starts to lift as you get the power on up the hill. Watch for the slower rider. You come up, quite often come up on the, the riders later, later on in the race. Come out into Cronky Voddy straight, back out into the open. Very, very fast along here. Probably, you're pulling top gear, probably in the region 170 mile an hour. You try and hold it flat through the end, but you have to be very cautious because the front wheel comes up as you're cranked over there. The front wheel lifts again here. Then you come back two gears for the 11th milestone. Very, very fast flick. Right, left, back a gear. Now you're probably back into fifth gear here. Gently draw the bike up for a very bumpy bit through handleys. Tends to skip. It's quite a struggle holding on here. Your chin, you're trying to keep yourself well down in the tank, but the bumps are kicking you up, up in the air. You come along towards the top of Bagaro, and there's a small rise in the road here where if the wind gets under the fair and can really lift the bike back to fifth, very fast through again. You've got to watch, there's a, the road drops away to the right hand side, so I tend to come down the, pull it to the left, through the bottom of Bugaro, it's hard, you, you've really got to brace yourself and hang on tight there. And now we head to the 13th milestone, which is one of my favourite sections. Come back two gears, steady it up, double apex bend, your apex in the second part. You drop down through the bottom, and this you get a real impression of being cranked over here, into the left. Back out into the open, you're heading down into Kirk Michael village, you're probably in the top gear here. Steady up, come back three gears, and you have to gently ride over the ripples there, and you get some sensation of speed through this village. It's unbelievable. You just, you're in top gear, and the house is just simply just zap past you so fast. Towards the end, it becomes quite a struggle. This is very, very bumpy through the left. Gently draw the bike up for Ren Cullen, which is my favorite section. Steady again for a slower rider. Through this one, and get a lovely wheelie over the rise exit in that part. Yeah. And away into top gear, you're out into Bishop's Court, which is, to me, one of the very fast sections of the course. This is the most demanded section on the 750. You're having to change direction through the next, next left, right, left kink, and it's so hard at high speed. Come up on a slower rider here. Try to squeeze by. Yep. You have to be very cautious when you come upon these guys. And along through the fast section towards Balaf, you're pulling top gear here. On a clear run without catching anybody, you're probably pulling 180 mile an hour through the trees there into the little humpback bridge at Balaf, Balaf village, gently over. 
exit in this village is very rough. You've got to be careful. You can get the back end stepping out, coming around any. 